Nike with Swim Swam, and I'm here with Jackson Roach, the director of the junior national team in the United States Swimming. Jackson, I know there's a lot of exciting stuff happening over the last few years in terms of really building up that program. Can you comment on that? Yes. First, I would like to uh, to recognize USA Swimming and the amount of energy and uh, finances that, that they've placed into the national junior team over the past four years. And uh, none, of, none of this could be done without the uh, support of our president, national team director, Frank Bush. Yeah, Frank Bush is a wonderful man. He's done a lot of wonderful things already. So Jackson, a lot of people might not understand what the junior national team is. Can you just explain the process from, like, obviously the Olympic level all the way down to state level? How do you get on the junior national team? Sure. Okay, in order to be on the national junior team, you have to be 18 or under, and you uh, have to be top six in the United States mm -hmm. in any of the Olympic events. And um, so, what meets do you, I know next summer you mentioned some meets that you're actually using. Sure. There are three different facets to the national junior team. One is to make the team itself, and I just explained that. If you're going to be on the travel meet at the end of the summer, you would be top two in the individual events, the Olympic individual events, uh, at one of three meets. This summer, we are picking the World Junior Championship team, and we don't have a destination yet. Fina originally had it in uh, Morocco, and they, they dropped Morocco, so we're waiting to see where the new location is. But you have to uh, you have to be top two in an individual event in one of three meets. The U.S. Open, World Championship trials, or Junior Nationals. Okay. Now, I know you've done a lot of things with USA Swimming. You've been on the open water staff. You've coached on many, many trips. Can you share what it's like compared to, you know, pool swimming is very different than open water. Can you give a little shout out about open water for people to understand? You bet. It's, uh, open water is very unique to pool swimming. Uh, knee jerk reaction is that it's a small group. You have an opportunity to get a lot closer, not that the national team in the pool doesn't, but when you have six athletes, it, you tend to get to know each other a lot quicker, and that, uh, gosh, you know, it's very hard for me to articulate how that does affect uh, performance and relationships and all that other stuff, but you, it's... You can kind of imagine, yes. I, I guess. So the, the, the intimacy is there a lot a lot more, a higher depth, causing people to be able to feel closer, feel more safe, I imagine, to be able to swim faster. Yeah, and you know, it, I, again, it's hard to articulate because it, you do the same thing in the pool t with the pool team, but you don't, you, it's just such a small group that's so intimate, so quickly that it's, it's hard to compare. Yes. So talk a little bit about uh, other trips you've taken and, and uh, how they differ. Okay, uh, one of the things that we started two years ago was if you're 18 and under, regardless of whether you're on the national team or the national junior team, and rank top 50 in the world, we will uh, take a group of athletes to two World Cup meets, one in uh, Moscow, Russia, and the other in uh, Berlin, Germany. When do those take place? They're in October. We just returned from that meet uh, a few weeks ago. Two years ago, we also take national team members to mentor those people. Huge. They make such a tremendous impact. And uh, last year it was um, Allison Smith and Michael Phelps, or a year before last, and then this past October it was Anthony Irvin and uh, Jessica Hardy and Tom Shields. Nice. They're just wonderful people. It's a very nice way for young swimmers to come up and understand the international scene. Do they actually have uh, little meetings to help learn and ask questions of the national team members, or how do you actually do that? You're right. We have meetings almost daily, and uh, the national team uh, representatives are very involved in leading those meetings. And what happens immediately is you erase or eliminate the mystique of a national team swimmer to a national junior team swimmer. Two years ago, 
Missy, who really bridged the gap for both. She was 18 and under, but she was also on the national team. She set a world record in, uh, in Berlin in the 200 backstroke, which was pretty cool. Yes. Is there anything else you'd like to add or share? Only that uh, none of this could happen if it weren't for the club coaches back home, and they just uh, they do such a tremendous job, and it's a reflection of the success United States swimming has year after year after year on the international.